This information just getting out two and a half years after the bin Laden raid, a Freedom of Information Act request finally bringing it to light. This sensitive email from the commander of the SEAL raid saying to subordinates, if you've got the photos, get rid of them. In those highly charged days after the killing of Osama bin Laden, news consumers searched for any morsel of information about the raid. The Obama administration faced intense pressure to release photos of bin Laden after he was shot and killed by Navy SEALs. The Associated Press and the conservative group Judicial Watch filed requests for those photos, and Judicial Watch filed a lawsuit. What happened under all that pressure? This order. Just hours after that lawsuit was filed, the commander of the SEAL operation, Admiral William McRaven, sent this email. Gentlemen, all photos should have been turned over to the CIA. If you still have them, destroy them immediately or get them to the blank, whoever that was, still classified. If these records were indeed destroyed, uh, there may have been crimes committed. Tom Fitton of Judicial Watch believes it shows a cover-up, the possible suppression of key documents from maybe the most famous raid in military history. There's laws that prohibit the mutilation and destruction of government records. It shows contempt for the law and it shows contempt for the people's right to know. The Pentagon wouldn't comment on those assertions or the McRaven email. A spokesman for Admiral McRaven wouldn't comment, nor would the CIA or the White House. But in the days after the bin Laden raid, President Obama told CBS's 60 Minutes why he believed the photos of a deceased bin Laden should not be made public. It is important for us to make sure that gr very graphic photos of somebody who was shot in the head uh, are not floating around uh, as uh, an incitement to additional violence. It's not clear whether any photos of bin Laden were actually destroyed. Could any of the SEALs depicted in the movie Zero Dark Thirty have taken personal photos? CNN military analyst General James Spider Marks says it's likely they were ordered not to by their commanders. It wouldn't be surprising if they shook them down and they said, OK, I want to make sure you don't have something that's hidden away someplace. But Mark says the SEALs would have designated some member of that team to take official photos and video for posterity and training purposes. He believes that if Admiral McRaven ordered photos destroyed, he was trying to protect operational secrets, sources and methods, and trying to protect American troops in dangerous areas.